Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the only with Thrifty Divas and we're here for a nighttime Dollar Tree haul. So when you're watching this, it's in the day because I'm gonna have it um, set to release tomorrow morning. But I just wanted to film this now so that I can put away everything because I've been on a roll, putting things away in my house all day long. Um, but since I haven't been to Dollar Tree in six days, you know I had to put that into my schedule today. So first, I don't even, okay. There was a few things that I wanted to look for um, because I was watching um, Pamela from Pamela's World um, show a few things and I wanted to see if I could find them and there'll be more about that in just a second. But first, let me just start with this bag. I found this 1928 Mickey bag in black and white and then the sides are red as is the bottom and I just thought that was really, really cute. So I went ahead and picked that up for my son. Now, let me just continue on with that, I guess. I didn't want to... All right. So, here's the deal. Before I left, Pamela from Pamela's World showed the velvet pumpkins. Now, if you don't know, Pamela lives about 45 minutes to an hour away from me. So, I always kind of look to her um, because if she shows something, there's a really good chance that I'll get it at my stores. It doesn't always happen. For example, the gum the fairy tale fruit gum and the birthday cake gum, we never got them at my $7 trees. And again, I'm like 45 minutes to an hour away from her. So that just goes to show you. But before I left for vacation, she showed the velvet pumpkins that I have been waiting for them to come out. So I commented on her video that day and I was like, oh no, that means they're gonna come out when I'm gone. I have to try to get my mom to go while I'm gone. So I begged my mom to go to Dollar Tree while I was on vacation. I told her I was looking for the velvet pumpkins. I told her which colors I wanted most, um, but I wouldn't care which ones. You know, I want them all, but there was particular ones that I liked more than others. I even sent her pictures of them so it was all set so so while I was on vacation my mom and I were texting and my mom's like I went to Dollar Tree they only had two colors left and I got you two of each so I'm like okay now mind you I haven't I hadn't seen them yet so I go to Dollar Tree today and I see some velvet pumpkins and I'm like oh my mom said she got me you know two of each and I didn't know what it was what colors she never told me so I got like one of each of a couple of the colors, not even all of them. I'm like, let's see, because the store had them. They had a brand new case. Then my mom comes to drop off some stuff for me today, and she's like, oh, I have your pumpkins. Ready? This is what she shows me. Two of these and two of these. I'm like, I said velvet pumpkins. Like, I even showed you pictures. This isn't even close. My mom goes, oh, well, they didn't have any of those. But anyway, so now I have four of these that I don't particularly like. Uh, so I, I might keep the, the regular burlap colored one. I, maybe just one of them. I don't know. But I think I'm going to go switch these out at the store if I can. But that's that story. Sorry that was so long, but I, I couldn't even believe it. So, I got my velvet pumpkins. I got this gorgeous blue. I got the gorgeous champagne. Now, the champagne and the chocolate were the ones that I, I was really interested in. And that blue is gorgeous. Like, I couldn't decide. I want them all. So I did get, woo, did get my champagne one. I love it. I did get my chocolate one. Okay, now, if you can see the difference, it's, it's hard to tell, but one is significantly darker than the other one. Um, but with the light, this one looks lighter than it does in real life. Okay, so you got the champagne and you got the chocolate. And I think I have another one in here somewhere. Ugh. Maybe not. 
No, I guess that's all I got. Anyway, I have to go back because I, I need to get more now anyway. But, so, but those are the three that I picked up. And they had white, they had orange, and they had green. Oh, the green. I don't know why. I anyway, I have to go back and get them. I'm sorry. I'm obsessed with these things. Then my store was pu putting out a lot of the fall stuff. Um, so I got this window decoration. And then I also got these window clings. I'm trying not to get stabbed in the face with a steak right here. Um, I got this sign with the, the jute hanger, pumpkin spice and everything nice. I got this grateful and blessed. And then these two yard sticks. Um, these are the only two kinds that they had. So I got them both. One says bless this home with the sunflower on top and the acorn there. And the other one says welcome to our patch with the leaf and the pumpkin and the glitter on the top words on both of them. Then I picked up my deco mesh. I picked it up early just so that I have it. I'm not making them yet, but for my fall wreath, I got this green, which I thought was gorgeous. I was tempted to go all green, but I was like, no, no, no. That won't be folly enough, but I, I just love that green. And then this deep chocolate brown. And then I was contemplating just doing those two as well. Then I was like, won't be folly enough. So then I picked up this golden yellow and this orange. So that will be my deco mesh wreath for the fall. And to go with that, most likely, I got the five pack. Now there's a four pack and they're bigger and then there's a more pack and they're smaller. But I always find the one in the five pack is the perfect size for my wreaths. And then I found these, which I have never seen before. This is a three pack of metal words. Okay, so all you DIYers out there, metal, tin words. And you have thankful, harvest, and welcome are the three words. And this is what they look like. I don't recall ever seeing this. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I think this is great. And you can put this on absolutely anything, or you can put it in the center of a wreath. So I'm really excited about that. Then I picked up another one of these jars. Um, I've picked it up for other stuff. But, oh, my bath salts and stuff, my foot soak. Um, but I picked up one today because... You're not supposed to, but I did gather a bunch of seashells from the beach and I also brought some sand back. So I want to put the sand in here and then the seashells on top um, and then probably hang a tag off of it that says um, Punta Cana and then the, the dates that we were there and stuff. So just have that in there. Then again, Pamela from Pamela's World showed these, so I was very happy to find these as well. This is the RVO, um, I, I, Rivo, I don't know, RVO, um, Tropical Coconut Lip Balm with Vitamin E and Aloe. So I did pick up two of those because Pamela from Pamela's World raves about them, so I wanted to give those a try. Then I picked up two of these eight by 10 flat canvases so that you can frame them. So the reason why I got these, and these are not the regular ones that they have. This is Art Alternatives. Um, 
So it's a cotton canvas panel board made of 100% recycled materials. So I got these two because uh, I'm going to try to insert that picture right here. I've been seeing for the longest time these pictures, these paintings that people make where they put paint on their dog's paws and put it down and then they like draw the stems in green. So they, they look like irises. Um, and I really want to do one of my dog and my mom's dog and frame it. When I had shown my mom it, the pictures, she was like, that's so sad. I said, no, you don't, you do it when they're alive. That way it's not sad. So I really, really, really want to do it. Cause my mom was thinking like, you know what she was thinking, but I was like, no, you do it when they're alive. So I, I bought them. I figured that'll push me to do it now that I have it. Um, all right. What else we got in the teaching tree? You know how I started the whole big um, movement of using these as cards and things like that? Well, I picked up a 10 pack of these, these little campers. I just thought they were so cute for notes. So you get 10 of those little campers. And then I picked up this 300 pack of Jot stickers. It's got purses and then it says beautiful and kisses and you're a star and then it's got the little bitty ones it's got a shoe a butterfly a lipstick it's got all the girly stuff you see all that purses shoes glasses little compact I just thought it was so cute so 300 of those to go on friend mail and then I also picked up this this is the three birds um, these are the magnetic bookmarks so I love the girl boss one I really do like the plain um, black with the white polka dots and then this one they put the sticker sorry mosquito I got him bastard okay or her right only the girl girl ones bite but anyway um, you really can't see the shape on this side because they put the sticker but this one is actually shaped differently than the rest so it's got the really pretty flowers on there. So I got that for my planner. Then I saw a few people haul this, including Pamela from Pamela's World. So I was like, yay, we might get them. And I did get three, but I'm only left with two because I gave my mom one when she came to give me the wrong pumpkins and stuff. So these are the secret body cleansing wipes um, this is in the calm birch water but I know that Anna at only in my dreams hold one more scent too it had like a sunflower on it I can't remember what it was called but my store only had this calm birch water scent so you get 15 individually wrapped body cleansing cloths by secret and this is what they look like and it says one wipe is 3.9 inches by 7.4 inches. And it says freshen up instantly when showering isn't an option in your car, at the gym, or the office. So I thought that was really good. You know, keep in your desk, keep in your purse, keep in your car. And my very last item I believe so okay I don't think you guys understand this stuff has been on my wish list for about five months I only saw people in like California showing it in walkthroughs and I'm like oh and I've been looking at every single store every single time for five months to no avail today I was like eee! I couldn't even oh my god I thought there was like a law thing or so. I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought New York was never going to get them. I got five packs of this. If you remember, um, in my family dollar haul, when I picked up something similar, I said my husband loves the drink packets for water bottles that have caffeine in them and no sugar. And they're pretty pricey. So this is Pure Kick Energy Drink Mix. They only had blood orange. I hope he likes it. Sounds delicious to me. Um, and then it gives the caffeine comparisons there. It's probably blurry. But it says instant coffee is 158 and a half milligrams of caffeine um, per 16.9 ounces of all of this stuff. 
Then Pure Kick is 80 milligrams of caffeine and a cola is 56.3 milligrams. So it falls right there in the middle. And you get six singles to go in here for a dollar. So I picked up five of them. Um, I would have grabbed more normally. If it was another flavor, I probably would have grabbed the whole, you know, sleeve of them. But because it's blood orange, I hope my husband likes it. It's the only reason why I didn't get more. I thought I picked up... I'm almost positive I picked up one more thing and now I can't find it. I might have... The thing that I thought I got was, um, you know, the Vaseline lips, like chapsticks that, they, that they've been having. They had a green one today that I never saw before, and like an aloe one. And I, I know I bought one. I don't know why things never come home with me. I, I don't, I think I drop them. I don't know. Anyway, maybe it's in the car. Maybe I'm lucky and it's in the car. But anyway, yeah, they have a green Vaseline out now. They had the blue one and then they had the rosy lips one, remember? But now they have a green one. And I bought it. I thought I bought it. Anyway, um, so that's my haul, guys. It's my first haul back. Uh, I might be a little rusty. I don't know. But I'm trying to... Wait, no. I am most definitely missing... I will be right back. I knew I was missing stuff. I left a whole bag in the car. <sighs> anyway. Here it is. <laughs> Told you I bought it. Yeah, so they have a green one now. An aloe. Then. I got these two pairs. For Christmas. These are these nice thick crew socks for men. Shoe size is 6 to 12. They are so nice and warm feeling. I don't know what the inside feels like. The same. But I just thought they were so nice. So they had this one. They have this one. They had a rosier one. And then they had a greener one as well. So they had just put these out at my store. So I grabbed two for Christmas presents for men. They seem really nice. Like boot, you know, boot socks. Um, okay, and then the last thing now for real the last thing This is all my store had so Okay, it's better than nothing, but I really want the bigger one that says welcome home like on one piece Whatever, um, but I picked up Is that right? Yeah, um, I picked these two up for welcome home again to put on my shelf, which I will probably be working on this weekend, God willing, um, my magic shelf. But I picked up these two cactus signs. They had the kiss me one and the love one. No, I wanted the welcome home, so I thought that was nice. So those are my last two items. Oh, and if anybody wants to help me out, I have a couple people looking for me already, um, but nobody seems to be having any luck. So. I still really want those historical NFL figures. If somebody could um, happen to find me a few packs of those, I would absolutely love it. And I'll even pay you if you want me to. Um, and then Marie from Marie's DIY showed one of the glass framed arts that Dollar Tree has. And it said, life is short, dance in the kitchen. I want that so badly because me, my husband, and my son have dance parties in the kitchen. And I just want that sign so badly. And then the new canvases. The, the, there's two new seashell canvases. There's two beach chair canvases. Um, yeah, and I really want them both both sets so it's four and then the kitchen one but anyway so yeah if anybody can help me out like I said I'll pay you I'll mail you a Dollar Tree gift card um, if you find it before I do just let me know if you find it that would be awesome and now I'm really done okay so I knew I was forgetting the bag so that's it my first Dollar Tree haul back um, and when you're watching this it's my first Dollar Tree haul of August too so hello August I can't believe it anyway all right I'm rambling because I'm exhausted and I just, I'm running on false energy right now, but I hope you all enjoyed and um, it's fun to get back into the groove of things. So now you're seeing me while I'm actually in the U.S., so that's different. And until the next video, stay blessed, my friends, and I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching.